Let's take a look at SketchUp and see how it works with Layout. Now, Layout is the presentation companion to SketchUp, and it is a part of the SketchUp Pro, which obviously, if you're if you're designing professionally houses, remodels, uh, etc., you will need some type of presentation uh, companion to work with it because uh, presenting models uh, printed isn't always that effective. Although you can do quite a bit in the free version of SketchUp, if you're gonna if you're gonna do this and uh, do it for other people for clients, you're certainly gonna need this. So let's. Uh, so I'm in this model that I'm working on now, which is uh, the Polk Total Station Ultralight. Begin with in layout. I set up the format. So I have found with these particular designs and also with my houses and remodels, I like 11 by 17. So the first thing I do is set up a an 11 by 17 workspace and do all the formatting so that when it prints, it looks like this. So the stuff on the side here, anything outside of this, I can have uh, for reference, but this is what gets printed. And then there is some stuff that goes on every page, this strip across the bottom. If I right click on it and I look at move layer, you can see that it's on every inside page. If I put it on a default, it would be just on every page. It can make it a unique element for certain items that are just gonna be on those pages. So that helps keep the pages all look uh, the same. So the border and the bottom and things like that. The main thing I wanna show you though is how that the work I've done over in the model directly translates over to layout and I don't draw in layout. I don't have to redraw. I just do dimensioning and note taking and setting up the view angles. And so these uh, windows that you see are looking back into the model. They're, I believe, referred to as portals. Right click, I'm gonna copy. And now I'm going to right click and I'm gonna paste to the current layer. So what it does is it grabs that copy that I've made. Now I could import this directly from SketchUp, which is the way I would do the first portal. But now that I have one in, I just copy it over because it doesn't really matter which one it is or what size it is, I can change that. I'm looking at scenes. Oh, back over in SketchUp, one of the things that I do to help in this is I have these tabs and these are scenes. And so once I set those up, then I can quickly jump to this in the different portals. Back over here and I'm going to change this to the router fence exploded. And now you can see that what we were looking at over in SketchUp, I now have here. Now, when I roll my scroll wheel in and out, I'm just zooming on the screen. I'm not changing the size of anything. This is just so I can zoom into the screen. Now, what I can do is I can place this portal anywhere on the screen that I want. I can also resize it. So if I resize it, it scales uh, the, the look or the entire model Again, it's not actually changing the model, it's just changing the size. Come back over here and I click on Preserve Scale and Resize. Then when I change this window size, it doesn't rescale the model. Here's what's really cool about it. Double clicking into the model, and now I am actually linked back into SketchUp and I can change the view angle. So as I'm looking at this, I'm going, okay, how is this gonna print? And are you gonna be able to see what I'm talking about. I'll be putting some notes on and I'm, I'm scrolling in and out, changing the size because I'm in the model. Again, I'm not affecting my model at all. I'm just changing how I look at it. So I decide, okay, I like that look and I'll get out of it. And now, and then I would go back in here and make notes and stuff, but I'm going to make another copy. I'm going to hold down the option key, gives me a little arrow just like so in SketchUp. So a lot of the, um, keystrokes, in fact, almost all of them are the same. I'm Now that I'm moving it, I'm gonna hold down the shift key and that'll keep it lined up and I'm just gonna move it over here, let it go. And now I'm gonna go do what we did before and get into the model and I'm gonna to rotate to a different view and come up with something that I can make notes on and maybe here I wanna point out that these holes have two sizes. They're drilled all the way through and then they are countersunk on the front. So maybe I wanna show that detail. So I can scroll in, I can show that detail, get it in a perspective that I think it makes sense and then I get out of it 
and that's locked in. And so now I can come in and I can start making notes or I can use dimensioning. I want to go from edge to edge on this to show that this is an eight millimeter hole and that this one is 13 millimeter. Think about how's this going to look printed. So I can get in here after I uh, do the scale, I can get in here and I can make adjustments. And so I know I want to show that we're going this depth here and then also I want to show that uh, seven millimeters. Manually type in what I wanted to say. So I'm going to type in one quarter inch and then close parentheses. And then I just grab the uh, dimension style window here and I can make it look any way I want. So um, I, when I click off of this, you can see that I've typed that in, but it doesn't show up. But I've learned that if I just click on it and just make an adjustment to it and turn it back, then it shows up. So you can see now that I'll be able to show that the depth of that cut is seven millimeters or quarter inch, so the head will drop into it. So you can see how I can sit here and look at it as if it were a printed document and I can start to make notes and dimensions. That's how layout works. It's a window into SketchUp and I can make adjustments to how you look at them from layout without having to jump back over to SketchUp. So I can do those individual smaller windows and have lots of different really close up views and change the angle to get it looking just right because I know it's going to print flat. Or I can have a portal take up an entire page like this first page here showing just what the overall model looks like, kind of an introduction to it. So this, this portal takes up the entire page. Ask lots of times what layout is and how it works with SketchUp. So I just wanted to show that they are tightly integrated and that, that layout does a lot of things that SketchUp cannot do. It's presentation software, but that it is tied back into the model. So there's no drawing. I don't need to go in and set up an angle in SketchUp and get it just right and then come over to layout. I can dive in through that portal and I can make it look just the way I want and it doesn't change my model. So it is an incredibly powerful uh, piece of presentation software. And again, if you're working in your wood shop and you just need to do a few details for yourself or test out something, the free version of SketchUp is all you need. But if you're going to be presenting and providing uh, finished products for others to follow along, whether they're your subs in the field or whether it's clients you're meeting with, then you're definitely going to need layout or the professional version of SketchUp. If you like these SketchUp slash layout tutorials, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Most important, share the channel with others. That's the best thing you can do. You can also support the channel by purchasing a set of workbench plans if you have a need for that or the smart wood shop. And also, you can use a link to my Amazon store that's in the video description down below. And if you go there, you get your same price with Amazon that you always get, but they share a little bit with us. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.